The channel design program allows me to enter the center line, the left toe, the right toe, and side slope information automatically generate cross-section profiles. But everything you can do in channel design can also be done in advanced channel design. So we're going to take this example. Right, I'm going to open up under Editors, Advanced Channel Design. Let's move it over here where you can see it, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read in the plan file just to speed things up here. So under Plan, I'm going to import the plan. And it's very simple to make a plan. Normally, I would just say that I want to create a new plan, start with an empty plan. And then we need to identify the center line coordinate. So here I have a big, long center line and the change. Yeah. And you can always calculate the change based on the first value. So we'll tell you the distance along the line. I've also entered the left toe. Where'd you go? The left toe points with the side slope ratio and the depth and the right toe points. Same thing. Once we have that information in there, let's go back to center line. All right. First thing we want to do is to, to generate our 3D channel. So I'm going to go to the plan folder here. And these options are similar to advanced channel design. Right? The top of bank is how high to extend the top of bank. Zero is up to the chart datum. Uh, minus two would be two feet or two meters above the chart datum. I could extend my lines. I'm going to extend them uh, 50 meters either side just to be different. And there's two options here to align the toes with the center line, which is useful sometimes. I'm going to generate the 3D channel, and that's the first step. If we zoom in on an area of interest, right, what we're going to find is that it's gone ahead and created. Right, the 3D information, it's created the faces for us and, 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 and all the information is available. All we have to do now is go ahead and create our plan lines. So I can go to center line and enter the information. How often do we want to align? This is in feet, so every 200 feet. The maximum distance uh, is, is useful as you're going around sharp corners to go ahead and do the geometry correctly. So I know this is less than 2,000 feet. I need a norming, naming format. I'm going to do smart corners and tell it to generate my plan lines. So as it's generating the plan lines here, it's all done. It's basically created about 5,000 lines here. Each one can have a unique template cross-section profile for you as you go through wideners or as changes to the geometry channel take place. Well, we want to save those lines now. So I'm just going to go to a plan tab. I'm sorry, wrong one. I did it. Screwy. I'm going to go to my profiles. That's where you want to go and save the plan line data. So I'm going to give it a name. Overwrite it. Yes, go ahead. And then remove collinear points would remove points that aren't needed to define the, the, the cross-section geometry. So I don't need this point along this line. I almost always leave that on. Create a point at the center line would output the center line point, and that's useful in some of the volume methods. So I'll just say OK, and you're done.